Ready. We're, we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Demarcus. Last game. What are the emotions going in, into this one? Um, yeah, uh, mixed emotions, obviously. Um, uh, I'd be lying if I said uh, I haven't thought about it. You know, um, it's uh, it's you know it's, it's bittersweet. Um, you know, you never you never think about the end until it's actually here. You know, so for me, you know, uh, this game, uh, I think I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna play like I'm gonna try to play like you know any other game I've ever played, but I know it's gonna mean more because I know it's the last one I've ever you know put on my put on my boots. But uh, but yeah, I mean I, I'm gonna try to you know uh, still have the same mentality, still have the um, same you know um, do the same things that that I would in any other game because it's still it is a game and um, I want to you know put on a good performance I want our team to put on a good performance in front of our fans sorry in front of our fans and you know have a you know a good uh, a good game to uh, to leave on so uh, that's what I'm, my thoughts but you know it's it's uh, like I said it's bittersweet because uh, I know it's the end but at the same time yeah I, I'm giving it up something I've done for you know more than half my life and that's all I know is, is soccer so playing soccer so uh, it's definitely um, you know it's, it's, now it's getting close to not closer to Sunday you know the emotions are you know getting a little bit a little bit heightened hey Demarcus um, like you said when you you know um, decided to retire several months now the clock, the clock keep trickling down to now we have less than 72 hours for you to you know, bless your boot for the last one as a soccer player. Right. Looking back at your career, do you have any regrets? Any regrets? Yeah. I, I mean, I, tr I mean, obviously, there's things that, you know, uh, you make mistakes, and you know, you make every, you know, person, um, any athlete, you know, but uh, everybody in life makes mistakes. So, um, have I made mistakes? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred, a hundred of them, a million of them. I made a lot of mistakes in my career, in soccer, outside of soccer. Um, things that I'm not, you know, too, you know, proud of that, uh, that I, you know, I did, but, um, regret is, is such, is a word that, you know, I try not to, try not to use, uh, only because, you know, the, at the time, the decision that I made, whether it was a mistake, you know, still, you know, it, it helped me to be who I am today. Uh, I learned from the mistake. I learned from the, those mistakes, you know, wh whether it be, uh, like I said, soccer related or, you know, just life related. Um, you know, you know, do I regret anything with, with soccer with, you know, you know, going to this team or that team or making this decision about, you know, moving here, moving there? No. You know, I think every team, every um, destination that I was in, uh, it made, you know, me who, who I am as a man in, and as a person. Uh, I grew up in every club that, that, I, that I played for. And um, so, yeah, uh, you know, I know you know, people say, yeah, they, you know, they have a lot of regrets, and obviously someone can't go through life without having regrets. But I, I just like to use use the word mistakes, you know, instead of regret. Um, so I would I would say yes, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've learned from them, and uh, you know, you, you keep moving forward. Could you ever have imagined that moving to playing in the back would have extended your career this this much? Well, I, I mean, you say that I, I, I'm I'm very I'm a very I, I am a confident person. I'm a confident player so would I have I'll be, I'll be honest I'll be honest if I stayed as a winger in the midfielder would I would have played in the fourth world cup probably not I'll be I'll be honest probably not uh, I mean I was I was playing well in, in Puebla at the time when I got back on the national team but I think we had so many good players in that position you know Jurgen was already looking at you know someone else in those positions which is fine you know um, so no I, if I do I still think I would have been playing yes you know, and that's my honest opinion. You know, I'm, I'm biased. I'm, it's me. You know what I'm saying? So, of course. if I was still an attacker, do I still think I'll be playing right now? Yes. You know, because I, the the work and the the things that I do off the field to get my you know uh, my body right and my mind right and mentally and physically to play this play this game, I think I would still be here at a high level. But that's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so I don't think left back has you know I wouldn't say it furthered my career, uh, but it, it, it it's it made me look at football in a whole different way, obviously, and, 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 you know, from the back, you know, and, you know, you just have, you have a different respect for different positions when you actually, actually play it, you know, and, 
And I always hear when people when people tell me, oh man, you know, outside back, man, it's easy. You just get the ball, you pass it, and this and that. And I'm like, all right, try one one game. Give me one game, and you see how how you know how it's difficult. Yeah. You know, you got wingers running at you. You got def- sometimes they're they're quick with their feet, they're fast, they go one on one. Other ones try to run it behind you. There's so many different wingers that you have to you know face and, and be ready for. Not to say that any other position is, is easy, but I'm just saying outside back is tough. Getting up and down, you know, providing, you know, defending, attacking, tucking it. It's a lot of things, you know. Um, so I wouldn't quite say it furthered my career. I think it, it helped, you know, me be a more complete player. I'll say that because um, yeah, I think I would still be here if I was, you know, still trying to score goals. You know, because that's what I did for, you know, my more than half of my career and it got me to where I was in Europe and you know with the national team and, and World Cup so um, you know on the, on the field I'm, I'm a confident boy you know so I think that I would have still had the same uh, I don't think I would have made a World Cup team I, I'll be honest I, I don't think I would have but I still think I would have been playing soccer at a high level yes. Any chance you might tell coach hey can I play up front the last 30 minutes? I've been telling him for like the past <laughs> month I'm like David give me at least 10 minutes up top let me give me let me score nah I'm kidding I'm kidding yeah yeah last goal right yeah no 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 like I said you know and, I, and you, I'm sure you guys have read and heard me say I don't want to if I did that, it would be cheating the game. It would be cheating myself. It would be cheating the game. I want to play the game in the right way. I've always wanted to play that way and I always have have played that way. And when I was a you know young young kid in Chicago, I've always been taught you know to always play the game in, in the right way. And in the right way is, is if I do play, you know, if I do start, um, you know, I'm playing left back. That's my position. I'm going to you know, do it the best of my ability. If I get a chance to score, obviously, I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, whatever. But for me, clean sheet is, a, to, is the best way to go out for a defender, you know. Uh, it'll leave a good taste in my mouth to, to do that with this group because um, it's been a difficult season. But, um, yeah, for me, you know, playing a game in the right way, um, doing the right things, you know, not cheating it, always um, uh, making sure that, you know, you're mentally prepared for the game and, and just, you know, do the same, same things that myself and the team's been doing, you know, you know for, forever. Hey, Marks, what did this club in particular mean to you? You had such a long career and you played different places, but you spent the last chunk of your career here. Yeah, I mean, I, when I left, when I left uh, Mexico, uh, my first option was to come back home. Um, you know, I, I thought I was ready, you know, to, uh, to, to be back in America and play. I thought I was at a good age as well. You know, I wasn't coming at, you know, too old um, to come back. But, you know, I, obviously I enjoyed my time in Europe and in, in Mexico. But uh, I was ready to come back. And, you know, um, Houston, you know, opens it, opened its doors to me. Uh, you know, speaking to Dom, speaking to Kennedy, the old president that was here, the ex-president, sorry, that was here before. Um, you know, they really, they really wanted me to be here. And, you know, in, in any player, in any situation, uh, when they're going through transfers and new teams, you want to feel wanted. You want to feel that, you know, the coach, the, the, the front office, the president, they actually want you to be there. And it's not just, you know, an agent or something trying to push that player onto that team, you know, or the agent and, and the, the president have some kind of, you know, um, they're in cahoots, some, you know, to get players into different, you know, different teams. But the coach doesn't really want them, you know. So I felt when I came here that, you know, Dom, the, the staff, Chris, you know, Gabrielle, um, you know, the owner, they all wanted me actually to be here and play for Houston Dynamo. And that, and that speaks volumes for, you know, for the club. Um, you know, I've loved every minute that I, I've been here for the past five and a half years. Um, you know, I've made it my home, you know, now. And, you know, except for this humidity, you know, I love Houston. <laughs> no, but I mean... Houston's been, you know, it's been, it's been great to me over the last, you know, five and a half years. And, you know, uh, I look forward, you know, even after, after Sunday um, to stay in Houston, um, to live in Houston and, you know, and enjoy some more food. That's definitely <laughs> what I'll try to do. What are you going to do when you wake up on Monday? Uh, you know, you've got the rest of your life ahead of you. What, what's, what are you gonna I'm going do? to training. <laughs> 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 I think David said we have training on Monday. Nah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I was going to, that's what I'm saying. That feeling I can't tell you until Monday happens or even Sunday after the game. You know, I don't know what I'm going to feel. You know, um, I, I do know and I've talked to many, you know, ex-players that, that retired on their own merit and some that, you know, maybe, um, you know, it was unfortunate that injury took, you know, their, their career away a little bit early. Um, but you're going to get that itch. You're going to get that itch that you're going to want to play again. And you're going to think <laughs> that you can play, you know. And I know I'm going to get that, so just, you know, me 
you know, staying busy, um, you know, trying to find something that I really enjoy and love and, and you know, be passionate about and, and do that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. You know, and I, I say with, you know, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm sad and, and that this, this is the end, but at the same time, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for the, the future. I'm excited, um, you know, I'm intrigued about what, you know, the next, the next page, the next chapter is, you know, for me, um, you know, uh, after, after football. So, uh, like, as much as I'm, you know, really dreading Sunday because it's my last game, uh, I'm, I'm happy at the same time. You know, that's why I say bittersweet because um, it is, because, I mean, like I can say, the things that uh, I think I want to do, I uh, don't have anything concrete yet, but the things I think I want to do, I'm excited, actually, I'm actually excited about, you know, maybe getting into that, into that field. So, Hopefully, um, I love whatever I do as much as as much as football, and you know I enjoy doing it for you know the rest of my life. So we'll see. New jewelry line. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's that's been something that I've talked about with my with my business partner. You know, I'm seriously that it has to if we want to start you know uh, or make a few new pieces to kind of reinvent the line. Um, you know, uh, not like I have anything else to do. You know? <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I've, I've I've talked about that, you know. So we'll 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 see um, if if anything comes with that, and if it works, you know, on my part and her part, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, stuff like that, you know. But at the same time, I want to stay in football. I want to stay in the sport uh, in some way, in some way, somehow. Um, uh, and that part, I'm I'm really looking forward to. So we'll see. Do you think you'll bring one of the training programs that you have in Fort Wayne here to Houston? Um, I mean, I'd, I'd love to. Um, I think you know uh, the. The future is in the youth, you know. Um, you know, there's so many players that are that are missed, and you know, as far as and that's and I don't want to get in, into all that, but it just you know it goes from, um, you know, do we have enough people that really care about getting into these you know places to really find talent in our in our country? Um, you know, uh, why are these kids getting missed? Um, it's it's something that you know I think we need to you know think about and talk about because you know we're a, a huge country we have so much talent in this in this country and you know a lot of kids at you know 10 11 years old they stop playing soccer you know and they just go to basketball they go to football and, and that's and that's a fact that's not you know just that's not my opinion that's a fact you know so hopefully um that that changes in you know um, academies like the dynamo and, and around the world and you know youth coaches you know we all we all get it right or get on the same page and you know to make sure that you know one day we can win a World Cup, and I'm sure that any, all you guys or everybody that's, that's American will feel that joy. You know, you ask any, any, any person from Germany, from Brazil, from Argentina, what it felt like for their country to win a World Cup, and everyone will say it was, it was, it was you know, I don't want to cuss, but you know, it was effing, <laughs> it was effing amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, like, I'm looking forward to being a fan, and and I think just from the youth side, you know, that has to be the goal. You know, and the players that. Well, whoever's going to be there at that time, and whenever we do have to hopefully win a World Cup one day, uh, it starts with the youth. It starts with the kids. It starts with you know the stuff that you know the, the Dynamo are doing, you know, with the you know the U10s, the 11s, the 12s, even younger, sevens, eights, you know. So uh, hopefully uh, we we all, we all we all get that right, and you know make sure that we keep the talent you know in our sport. If you could go back, what would you tell you know younger? You know, younger Beasley in Fort Wayne, Indiana, <laughs> about how far this game, just kicking a ball, will take him. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's um, it's always funny when people ask me that question because, well, and I say that because, and a lot of a lot of, a lot of other people say that. A lot of older guys say, you know, if I if I if I if I have known what I know now in football, as far as how you, you know intelligent, how you play, and it's not, you know, you could be the next Ronaldo, you know, you know, something like <laughs> yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You know, because obviously when you get older, you you know you learn the game. You know, you you've seen everything. You know, nothing nothing surprises you anymore, really. Um, you know, you're more intelligent. You read the game so much more. You know, you, you know, and the kid, you just you're, you just play. You know, you look at you know the young kids, uh, the American kids. They they're going out there and playing, having fun. You know, which I still do as well. But you know, you play with this not no no fear attitude, and you just you know you don't care who you're playing. You don't you know you don't even look you don't even look at any you know any any film. You know, if you're playing against a right back or a left back, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do me. You know, but that's that's a young kid. That's their attitude, and I love that. You know, I love their freedom and, you know, how they and how and their creativity and how they think. You know, when on the field. You know, when they're good, when they're good players. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would. Yeah, I mean, I, 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I would actually say, um, you know, uh, what I would actually say to my younger self. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I never would have thought I, my, my career would have went this way, you know. Um, like I said, um, it's, it's been a great ride. Um, and I, like I said, I, I don't take, you know, I don't take anything for granted. And I, and I, and I you know, I've loved every minute of it, you know. And, and one thing I will say is that, I would, one thing I'll say to my younger self is, enjoy every moment because it literally went like that you know i can see like yesterday i was playing my first game in chicago you know and now it's like this is it you know it's like where did 20 years go you know where did it go so i think you know i think i would say to myself yeah enjoy every game enjoy every minute enjoy every training session because you never know when it's going to end hey demarcos i know when you decide to retire and say make that you know to retire you wanted to give um, Houston Dynamo fans something, you know, like a postseason ticket, a playoff ticket, but it seems the season didn't go as planned, you know, for off season. Now you're going to be a fan watching the game from the sideline. What final word do you have for your fans who are going to watch you on Sunday for the last time as a soccer player? Uh, I mean, I just, I just want to say thank you. Um, thank you for always supporting me personally. Uh, thank you for always supporting the team. Um, you know, real fans, um, you know, they're not fickle. They come when the, when the team's doing, when the team's not doing well, when the team, you know, is doing really well, um, you know, uh, and that's what we have in Houston. And like I said, this is not, this is not saying that um, the fans can't boo and, you know, just express their, you know, their uh, frustration. Because I, I, for me personally, this is just me speaking, I, I, I like that, you know, that the shows that the fans care, that they care that, you know, the product on the field is not, is not producing what they think they should, you know. And I have no problem with, you know, with the fans, you know, getting, on our, getting under us and getting on our skin and trying to push us and this and that because, you know, trust me, in, in the locker room, um, we're the same. We're, we were frustrated as well, you know. Um, so, but for me, for the fans, just want to say thank you. Um, it's been a great five and a half years, you know, playing for your club because uh, this is your club. You know, um, you know, players come and go. The fans are always, always going to be here. You know, so uh, I really appreciate you know you guys letting me be a part of your club. Um, uh, hopefully, you guys keep me in your hearts because you know I'm going to keep, keep, keep you in mind. And like I said, when I say I'm living here, I'm going to be in Houston. Like this is going to be my home. So you're going to see me. I want to be at games. I'm going to look at the game in a different perspe perspective as a fan. But I'm excited about that as well. So. Um, but just yeah, just a huge thank you, and you know keep keep supporting the team, and you know hopefully, you know uh, we can turn turn the club back around to to uh, to winning championships. Well, it's football. Does it matter where you go? Or would you like it to be this club? And have you had talks? Have they approached you about a potential uh, job afterwards? Um, uh, yes and no. Um, you know we've heard, we've held talks to to see, uh, well not you know not intimate talks, but just you know texting here and there just to see um, my idea of what I want to do and you know what 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 they're what they're thinking um, but yeah nothing nothing concrete no 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 position but one thing I do know is I'll be staying in Houston you know whether I work with the Dynamo or whether I work somewhere else or TV media whatever um, you know I might come and take one of you guys jobs you know <laughs> <laughs> kidding just kidding I, I couldn't do what you guys do. Um, no but uh, but but yeah, nothing nothing set in stone. But you know, um, but you know, I, we have reached out to each other to um, to see if there if there's any possibility that you know we could work together in the future at some at some point. It doesn't have to be next year or this month. You know, next month is you know anything you know in the future. So um, we're we're going to talk about stuff like that. Yes. Breezy, throughout the season, there were a lot of pranks played on you. You know, how good did it feel today? To, to oh, y'all saw that. Oh, okay. We, we heard it. Oh, you heard? Yeah, 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 yeah man. Well, uh, yeah, you know, can you tell us about the pranking? Just is that something you miss besides just the on on the field, the off off the field stuff with your, yeah. you know? Team? Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm gonna miss the most is those day those that that stuff, you know? Yeah, you're gonna miss the games. You're gonna you know the the you know the the day of the games, right before the game, the kickoffs, the butterflies you get in your stomach, and then playing on the light, you know, all that stuff, you know, that stuff you're gonna miss. But you know, for me, the the relationships that I have with my with my with my teammates in, in every club, but. You know, obviously more so here because this, these are, I spent my last five and a half years here. Um, these are the times that I'm going to miss, you know. And I know, trust me, I know I'm going to, you know, Twitter is a crazy place. So I know <laughs> you're going to get, oh, if they, 
would have spent more time on playing than we then it would have been funny or oh it would you should concentrate more on the game or something lighten up you know what I mean <laughs> you still have to have fun yes we know that our the season was frustrating you know um, but you know we're human as well you know um, that and at the same time I know for a fact because I've been in the locker room every day that you know these boys are serious and you know when it's time to play and time to you know put the work the, the work cap on it's, it's time to play you know, um, results results come and go as they as they do, but you know the the work and the, and the effort that the boys put in, you know, um, has, has has always been there. You know, you know this year we we're just missing a little bit of the quality, you know, in different aspects of the game. You know, uh, and I don't like to use you know luck. I don't think luck had to do anything to do with it. We just were missing you know some some things throughout the season, but uh, but yeah, for me the, the the pranks and all that stuff were was great. You know, I had this one going for. I probably it was probably about two months ago. I was thinking, yeah, it's a long time. And I thought this it was after when you know they got me on my birthday, and you know they get threw eggs at me and flour. I literally looked like an omelet, you know. So, and you know they had to change my my you know my clothes and everything, you know. So, uh, I was thinking, you know, what can I do, you know, to get everyone back at the same time, you know. And obviously, I've seen, you know, NBA players and baseball players do that with you know with one you know one team or so just, or maybe just the rookies. I did the whole team. <laughs> Everyone got, you know, the the uh, styrofoam peanuts in the car. Uh, so yeah, I literally had about a hundred and I don't know about a hundred and ten ten bags in, in my house. Yeah, and it was it was something that you know something I'll never forget. I'm so I'm sure they'll never forget it because my picture was in the you know in the dashboard. Um, but yeah, uh, the Dynamo, the staff of the Dynamo helped me out. You know, um, so it, it was great. You know, it's, it's it's always great to have a laugh. You know, sometimes. You know, like I said. You know, you can ask any, any athlete, right? you know when to be serious and you know when, you know, to, to have a laugh sometime, have jokes and, you know, because you need that. You need that camaraderie. You need, you, you can't be stiff all the time, you know. So um, it's something that I uh, enjoy doing, you know, and, you know, hopefully, you know, the boys will remember me, that, remember me by that because I'm sure they're going to be, you know, um, cleaning up peanuts for the next two years <laughs> out of their cars. So, no, nah, but it was, it was good. It was, I, I had a good time, you know, uh, planning that. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we know how important family is to you. Can we expect that your whole family will be here for your last game? Yeah. Uh, actually, they start start trickling in tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, my whole family. I, I have probably about 45 people coming, family, friends. And, I mean, these are, you know, friends. I mean, these are, like, you know, legitimate family, friends that, I played with in my club teams before, you know, uh, people from high school that I, you know, I still speak to that are really friends, not just acquaintances. Um, obviously, you know, my my fam, my parents, and all that stuff, cousins, aunts, uncles, my my homies, my my homeboys, my real homeboys, you know, they're coming in. So yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of emotion. Um, you know, like I said, I, I don't know how I'm going to react, but you know, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm. I'm a I'm an open open person, so if it happens, it happens. You know, I just let the emotions you know run through me. And like I said, the most important thing for me is is the game. And uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to you know keep my emotions you know to myself and concentrate on the game and do like I said, play the game in the right way. And like I said, for me, uh, what a what a great way to go out winning, you know, um, against the Galaxy. And you know, and. And it's and it's, it's funny that they were actually the first team that I you know I got allocated to was was it was L.A. I mean I was only there for like three months, but you know I I wore the colors and, you know I was I, I trained I trained when it was you know seeing Fuegos and, and Kobe Alexi you know Robin Frazier Greg Vanny you know those uh, Carlos Hermosillo uh, you know those type of players that were still there in L.A. Uh, this is back in 1999. Ooh man that was a, that was a long time ago. I can't believe I just said that. But yeah, that was when I went to LA and trained, you know. So it's it's kind of cool that I get to end my career with the team that that I that I, that I was allocated to, and yeah, what what better way than to go out with three points, you know, a nice win, you know, for us, and you know, like I said, and for the team to build on, you know, next season. In, in that bigger scope of things, how cool is it to be part of that ride, going from Cien Fuegos and then on Sunday you're in a different MLS, one where you'll be most likely shaking hands in the middle of the field with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's it, uh, like I said, it, it, it seems like it's going so quick, you know, the 20 years, you know. Um, it seems like yesterday I was, like I said, in, in just in Chicago, now that I'm kind of reflecting a little bit more on my career and, you know, wh where, where the time has gone and where the time has passed. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I. Uh, I 
I don't. I wouldn't change one bit of it. You know, um, not one bit. Um, uh, it's been a, like I said, uh, an amazing you know ride. I'm truly blessed to be able to play this game for so long. You know, um, that my family has been able to be there. You know, every step of the way. You know, every country, every World Cup. You know, every team. Um, they they've been there right by my side. So to have, you know, that um, is, is is extra special. You know, uh, a little bit off off the field stuff. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a, hopefully a, a great ending, you know, to uh, a very long career. But uh, like, like I said, um, every career has to come to an end, you know, and it just so happens that mine is on Sunday. Um, and like I said, um, I'm excited for it. It's bittersweet, but, you know, it's just going to be um, uh, uh, still just, you know, another game that, you know, I want to win. Simple as that. I feel like you've gotten the full credit you deserve from the wider soccer community. Maybe I mean, you're just because you're here so long. Yeah, I mean that, so that stuff doesn't really. It doesn't. I don't. If they if they say, um, you know that uh, I've done this or done that, you know, you, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me that if if uh, either way, you know, if they have given me credit for my career. If they if they don't, you know, like I said, me and myself, you know, I play for the people that's in there play for my family, you know, um, that's the fans, you know, um, th that's it, you know, people can, everyone has their own opinion, you know, that's, that's, that's why we had a freedom of speech, <laughs> everyone has their own opinion, you know, you know, there's, there, there's people in the world that think Messi is not a good player, <laughs> how, how in the hell is that possible, I mean, but there are people like that though, yeah. you know, the people like to say that Messi is not a good, huh, he's the best player on the planet, you know, but there are people that say that he's not a good, so that stuff doesn't bother me, you know. That stuff does not bother me at all, you know. Um, Did it you know, ever? No, not at all. I, I mean, I know what I like. I said, even when, even when I was in uh, in Germany, I didn't play. I was out of the national team. When I spoke about it before, I always had confidence in myself, you know. I never let that go, you know. When people said, "Oh, he's done. Is he going? You know, what is he going to do?" and blah blah blah, I just I didn't say I didn't go to the media. I didn't say anything. I didn't care what people said about me. Oh, he's this. He's that. He can't play anymore. I just said, okay, for me, I just need to get in a situation where I know I can succeed, a team that wants me, and I need to prove myself again to, to go out there and play and, and get back to what I know I can do. And I did that, you know, and I did that when I went to Puebla. And, you know, I'm forever grateful for that club to, you know, give me a chance to, to do that. But um, I, I've always had confidence in myself, um, you know, when I plan this game. And uh, so, for, yeah, for people, they can say what they want. They can have opinions on, on me, about my career, about where I went, what I did. And that's fine. I'm 100% okay with that. I'm, I, can read, I can read a comment and say, oh, Beasley sucks. And then read another comment and say, we love Beasley. He was the greatest player. You know, it's, it's their opinions, you know. So that's not going to affect me as a man. You know, it's not going to affect how I play, you know, because I know what I need to do um, on the field to help my, help my team succeed and help my team win. And that's the only thing I, uh, I think. That's the only thing I think about, and that's the only thing I care about. Yeah, you spoke about Messi. Do you think it's tough to win the keep up? You know, best player ahead of the Van Dijk. Right. Two yes. More. Yes. <laughs> whenever I mean, I'm I'm one of those those uh, those guys that, whenever Messi and Ronaldo, I think that they should be the top two, in, until they stop playing. That's just my opinion, though. So I, I'm sure people are gonna say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know soccer. This and that. This is my opinion. My opinion that. Cristiano and Messi should be, you know, in the discussion every single season until they decide to retire. Until I mean, until you can someone someone can stop them from scoring 30 to 50 goals a season. I'm sorry, Messi still scored 50 goals last season. Ronaldo had like 40 or something like that. W what other players doing that for consistently for 11, 12 years? Nobody. Well, you think that other players from other departments should also be recognized for the work. I mean, but that, that just goes. Yeah, of course, but that goes that goes into that goes into is it the you know, people say, is it the best player of the year or is it the best player of, of the season? You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on how you look at it. You know, I'm, I'm sure FIFA has their way of, you know, doing or um, uh, differentiate the two, what they want. Is it the best player in the season or just the best player hands, you know, hands down? So, I mean, my opinion is my opinion. You know, like I said, I think Messi Ronaldo should always be there until they retire. That's just my opinion. Until someone can do what they do on a consistent basis like that, I, th I think they they should always be there. Beasley, if the you know, U.S. team says, hey, we want to give you one last game at testimony, would you lay some back up one more game? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to say yeah, you know, but I don't need that, you know, and I've 
you know, I, I uh, um, just um, said this the other day. Uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, looking for a testimonial match. You know, that that's that's not, you know, what I'm about. You know, if it happens, if it doesn't, it does. I'm not, you know, I'm I'm fine with, you know, leaving it just just like it is just now, just like it is just now. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, uh, they know. Um, you know, I love them. I, I love playing for my country. You know, um, and I know how much love they have for me. You know how much respect respect they have for me, to to what I did. You know, for the you know the 16, 17 years I played for the national team. Um, they know that, and they know they don't need to say anything, do anything. You know, to to you know to uh, to heighten that. And you know, I don't need to say anything to them. We both had that mutual respect. I'm sure I, if they come to Houston, I'll get tickets, <laughs> and that that'll be good enough for me. So I'm I'm cool with that. Have you taken stock of your career as you're nearing retirement? Your World Cup appearances, four of them, four Gold Cups, an appearance in the semis of the Champions League. Have you like taken stock of what you've accomplished? How proud are you? Uh, I'm I'm very I'm very proud. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of some of the things that I've accomplished. Um, you know, but you know. I have just so many people to, to think that helped me along the way. So it's not just, you know, it's not just me. It's not just about me. But, uh, you know, there's some things that, I, you know, I see on Twitter that now that people are, are, are reminding me of things that, you know, I used to do in my career. Uh, it's cool to look back sometimes, you know, because um, I haven't looked into my career as much as, you know, other people have. But, um, yeah, uh, I, can, I can really sit, sit back and say, you know, I gave my all. I gave football the sport everything I had you know um, like I said making mistakes doing things that I shouldn't have done bad you know bad games whatever you, all that and I, I wouldn't change it for the world you know so I'm proud that you know uh, I can still you know play this game at a high level you know at, and, and this at, at this age in this stage of my career and yeah uh, I'm sure after the whistle blows Sunday and I get a couple of weeks to relax, then I'll really look into my career and, and just see, you know, some of the things that I've, I, I did and, and be, you know, extra proud. But, you know, at the moment, yeah, I'm, I'm proud. And um, I know my parents are proud of me, uh, you know, as their son, not just the football player, but just their son. And, you know, for me, their, their approval is, is more than enough for, for me.